Victims could be in the hundreds after they say two fast food workers stole customers' credit card numbers this month. We are getting details now from investigators. And 24-hour news agent Tony Talia has been going through court documents in this case. And Tony joins us from the live desk tonight. Tony. Sue, so Kent County Sheriff's investigators tell us right now there are 20 victims. As you mentioned, there could be many, many more. We've learned that the employees accused in this case are accused of targeting workers or targeting customers using the drive through That's because workers could swipe customer cards twice without the customer seeing, once for the payment and a second time to swipe them through a small black box that would steal the credit card number. The two Taco Bell employees accused in the case have not been charged yet, but two other men have been charged, and investigators say they've now put a stop to this. They accuse Roger Torres of giving the employees those black boxes to steal the numbers. Investigators say they caught him trying to use a stolen card number to buy a Visa gift card at the Meyer in Gaines Township. Torres wasn't home when we stopped today. His lawyer says his client won't have any comment. But investigators say Torres confessed, telling them he got the numbers from a man named O'Neill Rivas Perez. Investigators say Perez was using stolen numbers to buy gas at Family Fair Quick Stops. Now, the sheriff's detective investigating this case tells us card numbers were stolen at the Taco Bells on Leonard near US 131 and on 28th between Eastern and Division. Investigators are looking into possible stolen numbers from locations on Kalamazoo Avenue near 68th and on 28th east of Breton. Now, if you were at one of these stores, used a card, and you see something odd on your bill, investigators say you should contact the card company or your bank and then call the Kent County Sheriff's Department. Back to you. All right, Tony.